So you're wondering what is that orange dot or sometimes it's a green dot that is showing up on your iPhone. Well, it has to do with the latest Apple update and I'm going to show you really fast what it is. So I'm going to turn on my camera and show you what I'm seeing on my phone. So now you're going to be able to see what's on my phone. And one of the first things you're going to notice really quickly is when I turn on camera, I'm going to flip it around I'm going to show myself at the top right of the screen there, you're going to see a little green dot. When you see the green dot, that means that your camera is being used. Now that's pretty obvious if you're inside of the camera app, but this is helpful to know if you're using a program and you're unaware that your camera is actually being engaged and turned on. Now, if I was to go back to my homepage and say, Hey Siri, what you'll notice uh -huh. is an orange dot has appeared in the upper right as well. So that is telling us that the microphone is being used on your iPhone. Now this is really important, especially when it comes to privacy and an app listening to your conversation so they can kind of retarget you with ads from the conversations you've been having, which is super creepy. Now if you want to limit the ability for an app to access your microphone or camera, here's how you'd do it. You would click settings, you go down to privacy, and then you'd click on microphone. And then here is where you can see a list of all the apps that can access your microphone. So if you don't want Facebook to have that access, they won't have that access. Now you can do the same thing as well, except this time we're gonna click camera. And then here you can go through and say, you know what, I don't really need some of these apps to have access to my camera. So I'm gonna pull those out. Now, of course, if you tell Facebook you can't use your camera and then you try to take a picture and post it to Facebook, it's gonna say, hey, we need access to your camera. So just keep that in mind. So now I wanna talk about laddering and why Apple would do this. So laddering is a term that is used for product marketing. And basically what you do is you take a potential weakness of your competition and you highlight it through your own product. So Apple really doesn't care much about data. They're not in the game of data as much as say Google or Facebook or your internet provider are. But uh, for them, what they're doing is they're highlighting the fact that they're very secure and privacy matters when it comes to Apple. So what they're doing is they're really highlighting the fact that if you're buying an Android phone, that privacy might be a concern. So a 2018 study done by uh, Vanderbilt School of Engineering, if we scroll down here, uh, comparing iPhone data, it says, I found that an idle Android phone running the Chrome browser sends back to Google nearly 50 times as many data requests per hour as an idle iOS phone running Safari, Schmidt said. I also found that an idle Android device communicates with Google nearly 10 times more frequently as Apple devices communicate with Apple servers. These results highlight the fact that Android and Chrome platforms are critical vehicles for Google's passive data collection. So the really interesting thing about your data, my data, all of our data, is that according to this article from The Economist in 2017, is that oil was surpassed by data as the most valuable resource. That is crazy. So what are some ways that you can protect your data? Of course, the iPhone is taking measures to do that. One of the other things you can do is also set up a VPN on your phone. So you've probably heard about this. It's advertised quite a bit. So if privacy matters to you, in the next video, I'm gonna share with you how to set up a VPN on your iPhone so that you can keep more of your data secure, especially when it comes to your browsing history. Definitely worth your time if privacy matters to you as well. So I'll catch you in that next video.